Two temples were discovered in Gursu, one linked to Heracles and Alexander the Great. Archaeologists unearthed two temples built on top of each other in Iraq. The newer Hellenistic temple dates to the 4th century BC and may have a connection with Alexander the Great. A baked brick with Aramaic and Greek inscriptions, referring to the giver of two brothers, was found in the temple. This inscription may be a reference to the Macedonian king who conquered most of the known world during his 13-year reign, from 336 BC to 323 BC. Archaeologists from the British Museum discovered the temple in question during excavations in Gursu, a Sumerian city in southeastern Iraq, known today as Tello. The excavations are part of an initiative led by the museum known as the Gursu Project. Focused on learning more about the city's history, Sebastian Ray, archaeologist and curator of ancient Mesopotamia at the British Museum, who led the excavation, said, the ruins of the ancient Sumerian temple were found buried in exactly the same spot as the new structure dedicated to the Greek god Heracles and his Sumerian equivalent, the hero god Ninjursu, says. Researchers say that it is not a coincidence that another temple was built where there was a temple 1,500 years ago, and that this area must have been important for the people of Mesopotamia, Ray said. This shows that those living in Babylon in the 4th century BC had extensive knowledge about their history. The legacy of the Sumerians was still very much alive, says. While exploring the dual temple site, archaeologists discovered a silver drachma, an ancient Greek coin, buried beneath an altar or temple, as well as a brick with two brother inscriptions on it. The inscription is very interesting because, it mentions a mysterious Babylonian name written in Greek and Aramaic, Ray said. The name Adad Nadanak, Adad, the giver of brothers, was clearly chosen as a ceremonial title because of its archaic tone and symbolic connotations. All evidence points to the extraordinarily rare nature of this name, says. The inscription itself is a reference to the Greek god of the sky, Zeus who is often symbolized by a lightning bolt and an eagle. Ray said, both of these symbols are on the coin thought to have been minted in Babylon during the reign of Alexander the Great. On one side, it shows Heracles in a young, clean-shaven portrait that strongly recalls traditional representations of Alexander, and on the other side, it shows Zeus. Ray says Zeus was also famous for accepting Alexander as his son through the Oracle of Ammon. He literally became the giver of two brothers because he confirmed the bond of brotherhood between Alexander and Heracles. However, researchers do not yet know whether the Macedonian king actually visited the region, Ray said, however, he may have had the opportunity to go there during his stay in Babylon or by passing through a detour on his way to Susa. More importantly, after taking Babylon, he was able to pay his soldiers because the city's treasure was handed over to him. This meant that Alexander and his generals had control of the wealth of the region, and they probably used Babylonian silver to mint the many coins minted in the city, says. In addition to the artifacts, the researchers also found offerings normally given after a battle, including clay figures of soldiers. The figures excavated from various parts of the Hellenistic world must have been carried to the temple by visitors in many cases. These include Macedonian riders on horseback, who had strong TIs to Alexander. However, they may also be associated with the cult of warrior heroism, combined with clear signs of Alexander's presence in the temple. This raises the intriguing possibility that Alexander played a direct and active role in the rebuilding of his temple, or that the temple became a monument to the Macedonian after his early death, Ray said.